Hi everybody, I'm Shawnee Lavender and I am on the staff at the Medical Society and Project Access, which you're doing the Heartstrings fundraiser for. Thank you very much. And I am here today in my role as one of the team recruitment co-captains. And the video you're about to see is some great tips for how to recruit your riders and how to be successful in your role as a team captain at Heartstrings 2009, reaching your goals, having fun, and making it a great event. So we hope you enjoy. Uh, my name is Sherry Atkins and I'm the Executive Administrator for Project Access and I'm also the Chairperson for the 2009 Heartstrings. My name is Jana Kellum. I am the Manager of Health Access Programs at the Buncombe County Medical Society and I am talking to you today in my capacity as Co-Chair of the PR and Marketing Committee of the Planning Committee for Heartstrings 2009. They should be seeking people who are interested in helping a local charity raise money at this fundraiser, because it is a fundraiser. Um, they should be also looking for people, though, that want to have fun. Um, I think there are a lot of things that make a good team member. The first thing is, you know, someone who's passionate about giving back, someone who's fun to work with, someone that you enjoy, you know, hanging out with is, is helpful because you'll, you will be spending some time with them. Um, I think the the primary thing though is that you find people who are willing and able to ask for donations and that you know some people are better at that than others so you know maybe some people give back in in kind of more um, subdued ways but I think um, you know since this is our major fundraiser for Project Access, this is the way we're able to make the program continue. It's really important to have people on your team who are go-getters and who are willing to say, you know, can I, can I, can you give five dollars to support me in this Heartstrings ride? Um, can you, you know, can you give me a hundred dollars? Can you give me five hundred dollars? And you know, be able to to sort of read people and determine what what might be a good level of giving for for their friends and family. Um, I think that there are two things that, that people um, tend to either have a misconception about or who uh, that may prevent them from, from participating. The first thing is um, a common misconception about heartstrings that, that in some way it's um, a relay type of event, which it's not. It's a, um, it's a really fun kind of class atmosphere, just like a, you know, you're, everyone's sitting on the stationary bikes and you're all doing it together. Um, but that is not really the main purpose of the event. It's not, it's not about spinning, it's about project access and about providing for low-income uninsured people the medications and durable medical equipment that they need. So, um, so really the primary goal is for people to raise money. And then the spinning event, the, the event itself, Heartstrings, is really to sort of bring all of those people who have been working towards this goal together to have that fun, active event, to raise awareness, um, and to kind of um, cheer people on uh, for having you know, done a really good job. But mostly, it's a fundraising event, so it's important for people to know that. And the second thing is, um, you know, people are often very afraid or intimidated by the idea of this spinning thing, that it's, you know, um, that it's too hard, that, you know, I, I can't do that, I don't know anything about spinning, I can't sit on a bike for that long. Um, and I felt the same way about it. You know, it's that's a pretty common thing to feel, but inevitably and invariably, people's reactions after having been through their first Heartstrings event and their first spinning class is, oh, that wasn't so bad. I can do that. That I mean, you know, maybe I'll be a little bit sore tomorrow, but it's good sore, you know. Or um, and plenty of people that I talked to said that they weren't really sore at all the next day. That they just felt really good, and they felt they felt good physically for having done you know something that they weren't used to doing, and they felt good you know emotionally and spiritually for having given back in the way that they did. So, so those would be the two things that I would comment on. Clear up things would be this is a fundraiser. Um, it, we do try to have fun and make it as convenient for riders as possible, but it is a fundraiser. And the money that they're raising for, for Project Access patients, um, all that money stays here. It stays local in Buncombe County. It goes to help pay for prescriptions and durable medical equipment for patients that are enrolled in our program. Um, so it kind of helps community members 
be able to bring the health care of our community in full circle. We have physicians donating health care. We have the hospital who donates health care. We have labs that are donated. We have uh, the county commissioners donating funds to help pay for prescriptions, but that sometimes is not quite enough. So this gives community members a chance to step up and help. Uh, just stay in communication with them, um, just asking them, you know, how things are going, is there anything that I can do to assist? Uh, and just anybody that you hear, you know that you know volunteer or um, you know want to help, uh, you would contact them about um, possibly writing in this fundraiser. And February is a good time, especially to have a healthy fundraiser because you're after the Thanksgiving and the New Year's holiday, you've got that New Year's resolution. So anybody that you know that's made that, it's a good time to say, okay, come on, commit, let's have a day of fun and raise some for a good cause, raise some money for a good cause. Great. Again, I think the best thing is that this is a local. It, it's a healthy fundraiser, so we it is health motivated to help people um, it's in the Asheville Mall, so it's great that family and friends can come by and um, have fun with you as you're having fun with it. But again, it's to help people in our local community. Um, and that's, I think, a, a, an important piece. And I think there are a lot of people here in Buncombe County that want to continue to help Buncombe County residents. So um, you don't know if you're walking down the street who has need of project access, who may be on the, enrolled in the program currently, or who has received assistance through the program. So you just don't know, and that's what this um, program is so great for. And that's just a key thing for helping people to know what they're helping, who they're helping. Heartstrings is different from most other events in that 100% of the money that you raise and that your team members raise goes to supply those those uh, prescriptions and durable medical equipment for Project Access patients. And most other um, events can't say that about you know the, the money that they raise. Part of it has to go to you know covering the cost of the event or to covering staff time. We are fortunate to be able to to really put all of that towards direct patient care. So um, that's a pretty huge thing. And obviously the, you know, the money that people donate to support your heartstrings ride is 100% um, tax deductible. So that's another kind of um, added benefit to participation in heartstrings. Absolutely. I mean, it's without captains to, um, to head up our teams, Heartstrings wouldn't be what it is. I mean, they really the, the captains are the heart and soul of of heartstrings in much the same way that physicians are the heart and soul of Project Access. And um, you know, it's just it's it's um, it's heartwarming. It's inspirational. It's really great to see people. You know, everybody has very busy schedules, but the captains really kind of go above and beyond. They they get people together. They get them motivated. Um, and it's it's uh, you know it's it's not like a lot of us have, you know, plenty of extra time, and none of the captains that I know of have extra time. It's you know they're they're all working, but they're they feel like this is really important, and I, I can't express how grateful I am and the rest of the staff here and all of the physicians and the patients in Project Access are for for the that um, going above and beyond the call of duty.